It's been nearly three months now since U.S. Senator John Fetterman was driving too fast on a Maryland highway and rear-ended a woman. There were no charges and no sense of who was the victim until now. Dennis Owens has an update. So she's being transported. The Fettermans won't soon forget this anniversary. They were in the black SUV Sunday morning, June 9th, rear-ended a Chevy Impala on I-70 near Hancock, Maryland. State police say John Fetterman was the driver and at fault. Witnesses say the senator was driving well over the posted 70 mile an hour speed limit. Just so very grateful that after that, no, no, there was no serious injuries. I spoke with Fetterman just days later in D.C. I know there was a, a woman that was hit. Have you reached out to her? Uh, like I said, everything's in the report. The victim, characterized as other motorists, stayed private, but has come forward as 62-year-old Jennifer Campbell of Virginia. She's filing a personal injury claim against Fetterman's insurance company. In a statement, she said, I think it's important to recognize that I'm a real human being, and this crash left me with real injuries. And there are still real questions. Campbell's attorney, Andrew Thomas, a 30-year litigator, calls it noteworthy that no charges were filed or citations issued after there was excessive speed, two cars towed, three people went to the hospital as a precaution. In my experience with excessive speed, collision and injury, there would be charges, he said. We asked Maryland State Police, which in a statement said it allows troopers to conduct independent investigations and to utilize discretion regarding the issuance of traffic citations. There's no evidence the trooper knew who Fetterman was or that the senator requested preferential treatment but some will certainly think he got it. Others would say it's best left for civil court, and that is where it's now headed. Dennis Owens, ABC 27 News.